As president, I will end these regime change wars by doing two things. Ending the draconian sanctions that are really a modern day siege, the likes of which we are seeing Saudi Arabia wage against Yemen that have caused tens and thousands of Syrian civilians to die and to starve. And I would make sure that we stop supporting terrorists like Al Qaeda in Syria who've been the ground force in this ongoing regime change Thank you. war. It's a consequence of a withdrawal and a betrayal by this president of American allies and American values. Look, I didn't think we should have gone to Iraq in the first place. I think we need to get out of Afghanistan. But it's also the case that a small number of specialized special operations forces and intelligence capabilities were the only thing that stood between that part of Syria and what we're seeing now, which is the beginning of a genocide and the resurgence of ISIS. Meanwhile, soldiers in the field are reporting that for the first time they feel ashamed, ashamed of what their country has done. So really what you're saying, uh, Mayor Pete, is that you would continue to support having U.S. troops in Syria for an indefinite period of time to continue this regime change war that has caused so many refugees to flee Syria, that you would continue to have our country involved in a war that has undermined our national security. You would continue this policy of the U.S. actually providing arms and support to terrorist groups in Syria, like Al Qaeda, HTS, Al Nusra, and others, because they are the ones who have been the ground force in this regime change war. That's really what you're saying. Mayor Pete. No, Mayor you can embrace, or you can put an end to endless war without embracing Donald Will Trump's policy as you are doing. you end the regime change war is the question. What we are doing What is an endless in, war if it's not yet respond, another regime change please, war? Please allow him to respond. What we are doing, or what we were doing in Syria, was keeping our word. Part of what makes it possible for the United States to get people to put their lives on the line to back us up is the idea that we will back them up too. When I was deployed, not just the, the Afghan National Army forces, but the janitors put their lives on the line just by working with US forces. I would have a hard time today looking an Afghan civilian or soldier in the eye after what just happened over there. And it is undermining the honor of our soldiers.